Hey guys, it's Monday again. We're ha back for another beautiful week of learning. It is April 20th, 2020. I should have looked at the date before I press record. Um, and wow, can you believe it's already April 20th? Where did this month go? Um, let's start off our video like we do every single one by taking our three deep breaths. And um, please remember that if you want to, you can say the breathing tool tagline in your head, which is I calm myself and check in. So let's go ahead and take three deep breaths together now. Ready? Last one. Good job, guys. All right, it's Monday. It's Mindful Monday. And I have a really fun little mindful activity for us to do that might have something to do with the Legos I have here. But before we get to that, we need to talk about how we're feeling because sharing our feelings is a huge important piece of every single day. So um, I have two feelings today, and just so you guys know, I'm sure you recognize by now, I am always very, very honest when it comes to how I feel, because I feel like, you know, there's no point being fake about it, you know, we're sharing how we feel so we can support each other, and I know that you guys care, and I care so much about how you feel, and that's why I'm so grateful that you continue to share with me your feelings every single day, so keep doing that. I want to know truly how you're feeling. First feeling, this guy. Take a look at his face. What does it look like? If you said frustrated, you are right. That's a long word. Um, I had some frustrating feelings this weekend. And then again, a little bit this morning, you know, um, it's just frustrating times. I think that I've heard a lot of um, pretty big opinions being shared lately, um, and even especially about teachers and educators, which I consider myself an educator. Um, and you know, it does bring up some frustration, and I just want everybody out there to know, you are doing the best that you can do. Your best is enough. And I just want to say that because I think that in times like this, we have two choices. We can either be supportive of one another or we can bring each other down. I'm going to choose to be supportive. And I want to say to every student, every parent, every educator, and every human out there right now, you're doing the best you can. It's beautiful and it's enough. The reason I feel like I can sit here and say all of that is because of this next feeling that you guys have so much with me, you have to do with so much of me having this feeling. You guys have given me this feeling. What is it? This feeling is loved. I love feeling loved. <laughs> you know, even just getting a hug in the morning from my family makes me feel loved. Getting a text message from a friend makes me feel loved. My husband makes me pancakes. Oh my gosh, I feel so loved. The little things. But even your emails, staying connected with you, makes me feel loved. Knowing that we are all in this together makes me feel loved. So you know how I feel today. I want to know how you're feeling. So now is the time to press pause, turn and talk with your family members, tell them how you're feeling. Text your friend, send them a letter, write them a little quick note how you're feeling today, take out your journal, write to yourself, or send me an email. Go ahead and press pause and do that now. Okay, good job. Okay, so today's Mindful Monday is fun because it has to do with Legos. I love Legos. My family, I'm sure just like so many families out there right now, we lately have been decluttering, which means we've been going through a lot of random closets, little corners of our houses, toys. We've been trying to um, minimize the amount of things that we have. And 
this weekend we found a box of Legos that we haven't looked at in over a year. And let me tell you, we all sat down and played Legos all weekend. I I mean, we literally laughed about it so many times. We would stop and be like, we've we've been building for two hours. We should take a break from building. Our whole, like all of us just sat down and played. Even my one-year-old was, I found these blocks for him and he was playing with blocks. We were all sitting around and building all weekend. And something that I noticed was how calm our house was, how mindful we were being, how patient we were. Just the air felt lighter. We slowed down. And it reminded me of this counselor that I had heard about a couple years ago, and he like runs his whole program off of building. So, so many of his interventions with students and the activities that he does is with Legos and building things. And um, I looked him up just to see like, hey, does he have any mindfulness stuff? And he does. It's a really super simple little mindfulness activity that he does. Um, but I thought, hey, let's do that together because that's fun. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to um, do what's called um, building breaths. And so we're literally just going to build with pieces and take a deep breath with every piece that we put down. So what I'm going to have you guys do, I'm going to have you guys go around your house, press pause, go around your house, find some sort of building mechanism, whether it's Legos, whether it's these big blocks, maybe you have boxes hanging around. If you don't have anything like that, just get some stacking cups that you guys can use. Maybe you have Play-Doh that you can roll into bowls and just stack them on top of each other. Um, find some stuff that you can build with. Maybe you just have regular wooden old school blocks. Get some of those. Go ahead, press pause, go find those now, and then come back. Do that now. All right, good job, welcome back. Let's do this, I'm super excited. So we're gonna do two different activities. The very first one is the building breaths. So I have a bunch of Legos here, um, just like random ones, but I did put some aside that I know will stack on top of each other because I'm going to take one at a time and I'll just show you and then we'll do it together. So I, I'll take one block I'll put it down and I'll take a deep breath. And I'm going to take another one and do the exact same thing. And the whole point of this is to be mindful. And um, the best way to be mindful is just to think about your breathing. I have a really hard time staying on track with my breath. And so what I'll do with this activity is I will literally imagine that I'm breathing out whatever, whatever, ugh, whatever color, that's a hard one to say, I'm stacking on top. So if I stack the brown one on top, I'm going to imagine that my breath as I blow out is brown. Um, when I stack the red, I'm going to imagine that the breath is red. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now so get your blocks ready and we'll go ahead and start and we'll just do we'll just do a handful of breaths okay you guys ready How'd you guys do? How was that for you? Um, it might seem like a really simple thing, but it actually really works. I, I feel more calm. And when I am worked up, I know that that's a really good thing for me to do when I stop and take a break. I can just take these blocks. I can just build them and take one deep breath with every single one and just like 
blow out whatever feeling is hard for me in that moment. So um, that's a really fun activity. The second one that we're going to do is we're going to build a mandala together. Do you guys know what a mandala is? Um, I know if you look it up, you'll see a picture of a mandala and be like, oh yeah, I know what a mandala is. But it's usually um, sometimes like a bunch of different circles and shapes, beautiful colors, symbols, and um, it's used a lot for meditation and just calming and you'll notice that most like mindful coloring books are filled with mandalas because it's a very calming and relaxing um, activity is just to color it. So, um, and it's actually a really spiritual thing too. So we're gonna build a mandala with all of our Lego pieces. And what's fun about Legos is um, I feel like you have so many different shapes and sizes and so it's easy to build something really cool, like a mandala. But what I want us to focus on as we build the mandala is I want us to focus on, you know, how are we feeling in this moment? Maybe have the colors of the colors that you choose are the ones that are calling out to you. If you're having like a frustrating day, maybe you're pulling more red colors. If you're feeling pretty cool today, maybe pull some blues. Um, maybe you have lots of different cool, funky shapes because you're feeling kind of silly and funky. Um, just build it however your heart wants you to. So I'm gonna go ahead and build one right now and you'll see what I'm talking about and you'll see how easy it is um, and you know, how calming it can be. So I will just go ahead and start. You know, I think um, if you guys don't have Legos, I feel like you could probably um, use Play-Doh. That might be a pretty fun thing to use. Um, or, gosh, like anything. I feel like you could even just get like a bin of toys and um, just make a big mandala, mandala like in your living room. I think it'd be pretty cool. And the best thing about mandalas is like, you really can't mess them up, you guys. I mean, you just, you want it to look however you want it to look that's calming and like however it speaks to you. Ooh, this is cool. Put that in the middle. And you really can't get it wrong because it's your, it's your mandala and it can look however you want it to look. Okay, I think that's good for right now. Okay, you guys wanna see it? So here's, here's what I just built. So see, it's simple, but it's a bunch of just different like shapes and colors and sizes and I feel like, you know, sitting and being mindful of how you're feeling and um, just building something with the colors that you want and the shapes that you want and just building something really pretty. It's fun, it's nice, it calms you down. Um, so that's two different ways that you guys can use the things around your house to be mindful. I think that a really good strategy for you guys to try this week, if you find yourself getting frustrated or overwhelmed, say you're working on some schoolwork and you find that um, you're stuck on a page and it's making you feel frustrated, maybe take a break Grab some Legos and do some building breaths. Take a deep breath. Add a block. Take a deep breath. Add another block. Take a deep breath. Maybe count how many blocks it takes for you to be able to calm down and try again. You know I want to know how many blocks it takes. Send me an email. Tell me. Wow, Miss Jen, I had to stack 15 Lego blocks before I could calm down. It only took me three blocks to calm down, whatever it might be. But that's two really fun ways that you guys can use something as simple as Legos to calm yourself down. Try it for yourselves. Let me know how it goes. And um, yeah, we're just going to leave it at that. That's a fun mindfulness day. 
I hope you guys have a really great rest of your Monday. Um, I hope that you guys are able to connect with your classes at some point today, maybe tomorrow. Um, and I hope that you guys do your best to stay happy. You know I want you to stay healthy. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Tool Tuesday. Okay, guys. Love you. Miss you. I'll see you manana.